So I am here in a Google Classroom assignment and I want to use a rubric, but I always do import from Sheets. So I'm going to go to alicekeela.com slash gcrubric to create a spreadsheet template, make a copy. Now this has no code in it. It is strictly spreadsheet formulas. So you just want to fill in the rubric. So you'll see here you're going to start at the upper left in A3. And I know that seems a little weird, but I've actually hidden a couple of rows that are essential. There's a few things that your rubric has to have. You don't need to know about it. They are hidden. So this lets you focus on just filling in the rubric. So my title is uh, Ads Glitter project has lots of glitter. So you'll notice is as I add criteria here in the yellow and the blue, a new one is going to come up. I have meet standards, approach standards, below standard, and incomplete as the default, and you can add a description if you want to. Now below what you'll notice is it automatically puts in the meet standard, approach standard, below standard, and incomplete that those are going to match. So if I change this to missing, so does that one. So I don't have to keep putting in those category criteria every time. Um, standard 5.0. Standard 6.0. So let's say I am done with my rubric. You'll notice that it just keeps giving me more titles and descriptions. So all you have to do is say, like, I don't need any more. Hit delete. I don't need more of that. And hit delete. And you'll see I now have three criteria for my rubric. I'm going to rename this. I always put rubric in the title. It makes it easier to search for. And I actually have to do nothing. Of course, because it's Google Sheets, it automatically saves to Google Drive. It even just feels a little weird, even though I totally know that. I don't have to do anything. It's already saved. I don't have to download. I don't have to do anything. I just have to type in what do I want in my rubric. And then back in the assignment, I'm going to click on rubric and choose import sheets. Now, if you've recently edited it or if you just use it, it's going to be right here. It says rubric for my project. And I just click that. It's going to pop up. You can see all of the things that I typed in the spreadsheet are here, so I am good to go. I'm going to click Save, and that's how fast and easy it is to add a rubric to Google Classroom.